Okay, we are live, everybody. Everyone see me? Can everybody hear me? Okay. Beautiful. So kickoff is going to be for a little bit here, so I am keeping an eye on the Mariners game because the Mariners are off to a pretty good start. And if they win this game, that completely makes up for yesterday. I mean, my God, if we win this game, something, something's got to be said for that. So I am going to keep an eye on that. So, Tulsa seems like their offense is a lot better this year, so they might score a little bit. But there shouldn't be much to us just handling our business, you know? It's on the Pac-12 network. It's Pac-12 network. Isn't Oregon only favored by like six or seven points or something? I say second. Okay, one, two, three ending for Weaver, it looks like. This may be the easiest Washington opponent of the year. This team should not be as good as Boise State. But they do look like they're better than they were last year. Okay. Still hasn't kicked off. Still no action. Already got almost 50 people in here, so welcome aboard, everybody. We're going to have fun today. Should be an easy win. All right, still in commercials, still nothing happening.
Apparently not. They're never that good anymore, are they, right, guy? When was the last time Texas Tech was really good? Like, elite. Like, the year they had Crabtree, they were elite that year. But since then, they haven't been that good. I mean, the year they had Crabtree, they were competing for the national title game. They almost made it that year. Game still has not started yet, by the way. Kickoff is a couple seconds away here. Let's get it. And the kickoff is going to go out of bounds. So Washington takes over with really good field position. No problem, Brian. Okay, Washington takes over at the 35. They're going to go three wide with two backs. Shotgun. Man in motion. Going to be a screen pass to McMillan. He's got open space in front of him. Breaks a tackle. He's going 50, 40, 30. Okay, down right before he gets to the 30-yard line. That's like a little swing pass out of the backfield almost to McMillan. And it's a big gainer. Good blocking. And that is how you get the game started, guys. And... What? Why are we getting the ball at the 15? They just spotted the ball at the 15 like there was a 15-yard penalty on Tulsa. What is going on? There must have been some kind of 15-yard penalty on Tulsa's defense because uh, they just gave us the ball at the 15-yard line. Shotgun, two receivers, two tight ends. Oh, excuse me, pistol. Going to be a running play up the gut to Nixon, and he's going to get seven yards. Really would like to say what that penalty was, but... Um, Okay, roughing the passer on a screen pass? Wow, okay. I don't know how that's even possible. 
Okay, second and three at the eight-yard line. Penix in the pistol, going to run the ball again to Nixon. He's going to squirt through for a first down, pick up like four, bring up first and goal from the four-yard line. Three receivers at the bottom. Two of them go in motion. Shotgun snap. Two tight ends. No. Yeah, two tight ends. Snap. Hand off up the gut to Nixon. He's going to bull forward to the one. Going to be down at the one yard line. Second and goal from the one. Snap. Hand off, runs into a brick wall, lost a couple. Going to be third down and three from the three-yard line. Get it. Bunch formation, play action, throwing it out into the flat, wide open, touchdown, I think that's O'Dunsey. Yep, O'Dunsey catches the touchdown pass, just ran out into the flat, and just like that, it is six to nothing in favor of Washington pending an extra point. What's going on in the Mariners game right now, by the way? Extra point. Kick is good. Seven to nothing. Okay. Fast start this week. Gotta love it. Uh, so anyway, I know Colorado won in a blowout today, so that hype machine is just going to keep on building. Uh, Ohio State won, I mean, obviously. Uh, I think Georgia already won. So nothing really shocking yet. Everything's pretty shocky. Do you think college wants Deion Sanders to win? I mean, it's a good story, isn't it? DM, go look somewhere on Reddit. Don't post about that stuff in here. You're going to get me in trouble. Like that. Yeah, right guy. I like the uh, Pac-12.
Yeah, the Cardinals did give Cal uh, Kyler Murray a lot of money, but they can get out of it if they want to. Remember, these coaches and this GM are not the people who gave him that money. Okay, kickoff is uh, coming. Touchback. Touchback. Snap, handoff up the middle, breaks a tackle, gets like three. We had him in the backfield. He spun free, picks up like three yards. Handoff up the middle again, that time no gain, and there's a flag down as well. No, we don't play Colorado. False start, so no play. Third and seven. Wait, we did decline it? Okay. Pass play, little bit of pressure, throws it deep over the middle, caught. Yeah, that's uh that's the UW secondary that's gonna be a little bit problematic this year. Thank you, Santi. Wong. Yeah, he dropped back, throws it deep over the middle, single coverage. Receiver just won the battle. Far from ideal. On the 40-yard line now. Snap. Shotgun. Throws it. Out of bounds. Throws it wide. Okay. Yep, going to be a QB keeper, going to pick up like five yards. That was a, uh, what do they call that, the option? Oh, and he's hurt. He slid. He didn't even really get hit. He just slid, and it looked weird. No problem, RV Taylor. Okay, he's staying in the game. Third and five. That was the read option. Snap. Drops back to pass, looks, looks, has all day, throws it, almost intercepted in the flat, but that's going to bring up a fourth down. They might go for this. It's long field goal, but short punt. By the way, I think ZTF isn't playing today, so our pass rush might be a little neutered. That should have been picked. Snap, they're going for it. Throws it into the flat, caught, first down. Wait, the ball came out. Are they going to say it's a drop? No. I guess he had it. Uh, 
Yep, hand off, no, hand off up the middle, no gain. Not much there. Second and ten. Snap, drops back, has time, throws it short over the middle. Tight end catches it for like four yards. That's going to bring up third and medium. If Weaver actually gets through this game without giving up any runs, even if he only pitches a few innings, that's a miracle. It's third and seven, actually. They did not give the tight end very much forward progress. Oh, yeah? That's cool, Santi Wong. Snap. Drops back. Has time. Throws it over the middle. Broken up. Shoulders was able to get up and get his hands on it. The pass was high, but defensive back came up and hit him just as the ball got there. Fourth and seven. I imagine they kick a field goal here. And the kick is up, and uh, it's good. 7-3. Okay. So we're more than six minutes into the game. So got about 65 people in here right now. So I want to say thank you to everybody for coming out today. We're going to have some fun streaming this Huskies watch along. If you haven't already done so, please like the stream. We have 14 likes right now. If you are new, and you like Huskies content, pre-game, post-game, watch-alongs, subscribe. We have a goal to get to 14,300 by the end of the month. We are actually on pace to do so. And, uh, yeah, we also have channel memberships, donation options, super chats and tips. And that's about it. Hope everybody enjoys their time tonight. This Amazon commercial disturbs me. I don't have a big problem with Amazon, but I don't know. That commercial has nothing to do with Amazon except for them uh, completely unrelated to the situation that they're in buying something on Amazon. Nice. We got out of the uh, fourth. No runs. I feel like we need to score more if we want to win. So you're saying it was worth it, David. 
Kickoff is away. Washington will be fielding it at the 15, returning it past the 20. Gets past a couple defenders, the 25, the 30, the 35, the 40, and he breaks a tackle, the 50. And Washington starts with great field position, courtesy of the big return. Let's get it. Oh, penalty. I think that's uh, going to push us way back, actually. I think that was earlier in the return. I didn't notice the flag. Dang. Okay. Now, this offense is fully capable of... Okay, what happened here? I have no... Are they calling that a chop block? That's not a chop block. Oh my god, that cost us like 40 yards in field position. He fell down. Bunch of garbage. Alright, pistol, three receivers, one tight end. Uh, it was number four, Santi Wong. I'm not sure who that is off the top of my head. Play action, dump off into the flat. Uh, looks like he picked up like three yards, just Polk. Not a lot there. Santi Wong, welcome to the channel. Thank you for the sub. Welcome aboard, Santi Wong. Second and eight, they gave him two yards. Motion, snap, low snap, but he gets it, drops back, throws it. Wide open is Polk, and he's running down the sideline. The 40, the 45... Cuts back inside, near the 50, taken down. Polk with a big gain to get back almost all the yards we lost on the penalty. First down. <laughs> 49-yard line, shotgun. Three receivers, one back. Yeah, I remember that, David. Snap. Going to be a screen to McMillan, and he's going to squirt forward for about eight. Runs out of bounds. I don't think he got the first, but he got kind of close. Second down coming up. Dante. Okay. Second and one. Snap. Going to be a handoff. Stretching out over to the... Oh, no gain. He couldn't spin free. Going to bring up third and very short for Bernard. I think that's going to be like third and half a yard. Just couldn't quite find the gap there. Little hesitant to go forward, maybe. I don't know. Shotgun, two tight ends. Snap, handoff. Oh, God, we can't run the ball. I think we're probably going to go for it here, but we cannot run the ball. When they know it's coming, they just overpower us. Yeah, we're going forward on fourth and one. Two tight ends. Weird formation. 
tight ends are playing off the line. What the hell? Don't know. Another running play. No, Penix is going to keep it and spin for a first down and a few more. So that's what it takes for us to pick up short yardage, I guess. That's not a good sign, guys. First and 10, 38. Hand off up the middle. Somebody's helmet came off. Like five yard pickup by Nixon. I think that's Nixon. Brailsford. Get your helmet back on. Hopefully, Sante. Second and five. Okay. Snap. Drops back. Looks. Looks. Throws it deep down the right side. Flag. McMillan was about to break wide open and he got grabbed, so that's going to be a first down by penalty. Oliver. Yep, pass interference, so that's a 15. Fitting, fitting, 15, 15 yards. Weaver is one out away from getting through three clean endings, which is amazing, by the way. Shout out to him. First and ten. Where are we? Seventeen. Yep. Throws it quickly out to the right side. Dropped. Oh, Dunsey had a easy... Eight yards. Dropped it. Yeah. Okay. Second down. Okay. Yep. Hand off, up the middle, finds a little bit of a hole but can't break a tackle, so he gets like four or five yards. Flag down, too. Adams. What's the flag? Holding, so this is going to bring up second and very long. This is not ideal. I'll tell you that. Yeah, we, we need to seriously not run the ball. Come on, Weaver. David Peterson, welcome. Thank you for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Welcome aboard, David Peterson. Good day. We are still in field goal range. End around. Big hole, big room, big room, big room. Touchdown, I think. He's either at the down at the one or it's a touchdown. So that's what it's going to take for us to run the ball. That's Polk, by the way. They are giving him a touchdown. So touchdown, Washington. Let's see if they want to take a look at this, but the end around got him. Get Weaver out. No, get Weaver out of there now. Get Weaver out. Don't mess around with this lineup. Don't mess around. Extra point. Is good. Okay. 14 to 3. You know, it's occurred to me that kicking extra points. Are you shitting me, Big Country? Did we leave Weaver in? We left Weaver in against Brandon Lowe? You're kidding me. Is Scott 
stupid? Is Scott stupid or something? Why is he so stupid this year? What the hell is wrong with Scott? He makes every wrong decision this year. Every time there's a decision to be made, he screws it up. What is wrong with him? Is he still in the game? Does he have brain damage? Oh my god, he's still in the game. You gotta be kidding me. No, he doesn't want innings, he wants to lose. Unreal. 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 All right, we're in commercial right now, Jeremy. Nothing's going on right now. Okay. Okay, that better be the end of Weaver for today. Man, that safety played that very lazy. No wonder we scored. And zone. Like, the worst fielder on this team keeps making big plays. Like, he is a roller coaster out there in the outfield, ain't he? Uh, gonna be a touchback. All right. Tulsa takes over. Yeah, boy. I understand wanting to get three innings out of Weaver. But the the lineup rolled over. He walked a batter. He walked the nine-hole hitter. He walked the nine-hole hitter. You just have to take the L and move on. You're going to have to get one extra out out of somebody. Ooh, so scary. Whatever. Anyway. From the 25 snap, going to be a handoff going left. And he manages to get through for about two. Not a lot there. He did manage to push through one guy. The first guy on the Huskies defense never brings the ball carrier down, I swear. Shotgun, three receivers, two, one, uh, one tight end. Snap, another handoff up the middle. A little bit of a hole this time. Picks up like four. Going to bring up third and like, third and four. Um, yeah, Leone's a disaster. Honestly, the only guy on this pitch, whole pitching staff I trust right now really is Brash. Which is bad because Brash is not typically trustworthy. But he's actually been lights out lately, so I got nothing bad to say. Okay, third and four, shotgun, five wide. Immediate pressure, gets off the screen though, and that's going to be a first down. Oh! Oh! I thought the ball came out, but that was his like... Something went flying. I don't know what. Okay. Okay. 
That was a big hit, but it is like a 10-yard pickup. Nice bubble screen design, actually. Oh, it was our guys' helmet and do-rag. Something black came out. I don't know what that is. Or is like his like little skull cap thing. Whatever. He's fine. First and ten. Snap. Hand off up the middle. Gonna take it left and pick up like two or three. So somebody pointed out to me that Tolles' head coach has been the offensive coordinator for Ohio State for the last five years. So why is he taking a job at Tulsa? Seems like you could get a better job than that. That's been a great offense the last five years. Seahawks OG, thank you for the four ninety nine. This is Daryl Taylor's last contract year. Either the Huskies edge on your watch list for the Hawks. Uh, I think they're both going to go too high. Incomplete pass over the middle. The pressure forced him to throw it behind his receiver. Third and seven. Third and seven. Snap. Running play up the middle. Finds a hole. Picks up five. So that's going to bring up fourth and two from the 49. I guess they're going for it. If they don't go for it, that's weird. Like, why run the ball if you're not going to go for it? Yeah, they're going for it. Fourth and two. And man in motion. I think they're trying to get us to jump. End of quarter. One second. Okay, but they shouldn't trust Haggerty against anybody. He swings like a dude, like a career double-A dude. Asa Turner left the game with an apparent injury on Tulsa's first series. Oh, that's not good. Uh, Seahawks OG, I mean, when you think about it, if we lose Taylor, and by the way, Taylor did not play his rookie year, so we might be able to keep him cheap next year as a restricted free agent, so this might not be the end for Daryl Taylor. But even then, you've got Nwosu, you've got Mafe, you've got Hall, and you've got Tyreek Smith. That's probably good enough. You don't necessarily need to spend a super high pick on a on a um, edge rusher, I don't think. Okay, we got to get through 12 more outs, and the offense is kind of dried up here. Who cool boy. I mean, I had zero expectations of winning this game, so it's whatever, but we got a chance here, man.
Yeah. Well, Savali's a good pitcher, I guess. So it's not the most shocking thing in the world. All of our top bullpen guys are exhausted. Like, Munoz cannot control his slider for crap. Like, I'm sorry. I loved Munoz, but his slider has zero control right now. Fourth and two, and it looks like they are still going to go for it. Wait a minute. The quarterback's on the sideline. Are they actually punting? They ran the ball on third and seven to punt. Wow. No. No, they are. Go okay. I was about to say, there's no way they're punting this. Okay, they are going for it. Shotgun, three receivers, one tight end. Fourth and two from the 49-yard line. Snap. Sprinting out right. Looking, looking, looking. Sack! Yep, they were trying to run like... It almost looked like student body right, and then some, and a Washington player broke through. All right. Washington takes over on downs. Yeah, big country. The stupid thing is we could just promote Malone for a game. Tommy Malone has been solid every time he's pitched. Why do we not like him? What's going on there? It doesn't make any sense. His team's brains don't work with this stuff sometimes, I feel like. They're trying to find another bullpen pitcher to eat innings. Meanwhile, they got Tommy Malone sitting there. Four wide. Taking over at the 44-yard line is Penix. Four wide. Shotgun. One bank. Wait, are you... Austin, please tell me you're joking. Snap. Penix. Throws it out into the flat. Screen pass to the back. He's going to have a little bit of room and get, like... Six. Six yards. Oh my god, dude. If Weaver gets through this inning, then... Uh, somebody needs to buy him a car. If he makes it through this inning clean, somebody needs to buy him a car. This is ridiculous. Isn't he about to face the heart of the order? Okay, second and three for Washington, so seven yards on that last screen pass. Penix drops back, has time, looks, looks, looks. Now pressured a little bit, but still has time. Throws it incomplete, but a flag down in the secondary. He was trying to get it to Westover. One out. Okay. If he can get through this inning, Jerry owes him a car. Holding on the defense, five yard, I think that's a, oh, it's a 10 yard penalty, excuse me. Automatic first. From the 27-yard line, snap, Penix drops back, looks, throws it deep down the left side, intercepted in the end zone. I think the receiver fell down. I think O'Dunsey stumbled or something. Ugh, not good. I think that's on O'Dunsey, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't know if that's an O'Dunsey thing or a Penix thing. But that was not good. I'll put Mike Ford in to get these last two outs. I'm not even kidding. Put Mike Ford in the damn game. What is Scott doing? 
I'm so confused right now. Like, I understand that the bullpen is taxed right now, but if this is how you feel about the bullpen, just forfeit the game. Come on, get a cheap double play ball. Get a cheap double play ball. Do it. Good for me. Yeah, Saucedo's been pretty good. I don't know why we... Seems like we don't trust him, but there's no reason why you wouldn't. Oh, almost got the double play. Oh, how did that fatty get to first in time? Weaver's still in the game. Ground ball. Yes, he got out of it. Wow, somebody buy Jerry, you owe that man a new car. You owe that man a new car. Y'all ain't nothing. That ain't nothing right there, man. Don't give me that. Okay, first and ten for Tulsa. Snap, drops back to pass, looks, fires well behind his receiver. Lucky that wasn't picked off. Second and ten. Cannot believe he got through that inning. That was amazing. Handoff up the middle, finds a hole, and picks up like seven or eight. Going to be third and pretty manageable here. Yeah, right, guy. me and Snacks were talking about it all night last night. If you were in the stream, you probably would have heard a bunch about it. Third and three. And shotgun, three receivers at the top, tight end, back, snap, going to be a handoff going right, and he gets it. He picks up like four. Still struggling to stop the run a little bit here, and we also can't run the ball, so you do the math. Handoff up the middle, going to be like four. And uh, drops back to pass, gets hit as he throws. Wide open by the marker is his receiver, though. So... That's a completion, first down. And yeah, Tulsa's offense has a little something going. It's not a great offense, but it's a competent offense. Nice blitz. Great. Great blitz by this slot corner. Just got there a little bit late. Forty-two yard line, first down. Man in motion. Snap. Handoff up the middle. Breaks a tackle, misses tackle, missed tackle, picks up like 12 or 13. Man, this defense cannot tackle. We still cannot tackle anybody. Like, every time the first guy doesn't do the job. Every time we can't do the job. Swears. news snap handoff up the middle another big hole 
Another first down run, another missed tackle. Wow. I don't remember the run defense being this bad last year. I'm just saying. App, drops back to pass, looks, has all day, throws it deep over the middle. Inner, oh my god, two Huskies should have picked it off, but neither did. Come on, guys. Catch the ball. <laughs> Ridiculous. That was a tailor-made interception. I think two different Huskies could have had that one pretty easily, but somehow they both screw it up. Snap, handoff up the middle, another nice hole, five yards, six yards. Man, this run defense is a big problem. Is Rojas getting pinch hit for? Okay. Snap, roll out, going to throw it. That's a first down. Oh, my God, the secondary is playing so soft. It's third and five. Dummy, it's third and five. Why are you playing so soft? Giving them the free first. Snap, handoff going right, and that time he gets like two yards. We still can't tackle, though. That should have been no gain, but we can't tackle at all. So he gets two yards. Cool. Second and eight. Play action, drops back, throws it deep to the end zone. Nobody's there. Incomplete. And that'll bring up third and eight. Jeremy, they can't stop the run. Wait, are you guys serious? Did O'Keefe hit a home run? Wow. Okay. Yeah, he used the left field. Snap, drops back, looks, looks, has all day, throws it deep to the end zone, kind of a Hail Mary shot. Intercepted. Intercepted in the end zone. Washington takes it back. There we go. He just kind of threw up a Hail Mary. He was just like, somebody go get this. I'll give away this field goal. Very nice. All right, Washington takes over. And that is the third turnover they forced this year. So they are doing much better than they were last year, for sure. Let's get it. One second, guys.
All right, I'm back. So they're saying it got called back. Okay, that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, can we destroy this stadium, please, and get a real one? I, I, well, it's Tampa Bay. Not really a big incentive over there, I guess. Which is weird because they've been really good for a long time. Okay, first and 10 from the 25. We got four receivers in a back. Shotgun snap. Quick pass out to the... Oh, he dropped it on the hit. Culp had it, dropped it. Cool. So... Yeah, Tampa Bay doesn't shouldn't really have a team when you really think about it. The fact that they're this good and they can't get turnout, like, why does Tampa Bay have a team? Yeah, Crawford's been terrible lately. Something's up. But that is... That's devastating, not getting that run. God damn it. Anyway. And second and ten, I think we used a timeout to avoid the delay of game. For sure? Yeah. Great. I have a really bad feeling that's going to end up costing us the game. We need nine more outs. Oh, he hit a line out. Well, I can't be that mad about JP doing that, I guess. That's whatever. I'm not tripping on that. That's not JP's fault. She's asking for something. Maybe. Well, I got a bad feeling about this one, guys. Not about the Huskies game. The Huskies are fine. Huskies are cool. Although, we haven't been able to get anything deep down the field, which is weird. Yeah, it's like, it's such a waste. Imagine if they had that scouting and development for like a New York team. Imagine how much better the utilization would be. Like, goddamn. Wow, David, we want to lose this game, huh? That's the only thing I can say. Are we really going to let... Wow, man. I'm speechless. I I am speechless. Scott should be fired for this game alone. Like, this is malpractice. Uh, Penix in the pistol. Snap, play action, drops back, has time, looks... Throws it over the middle. Caught wide open is Odunzi. He's going to run to the 46. First down. Easily. It won't work. It's not working. Play. Uh, handoff. Going left. Has some room here. Picks up like 10 yards. Does Nagata. Yeehaw. Uh, 
Uh, play action, quick pass out to the right side, wide open, Cotto Dunsey, and he almost breaks it for maybe a touchdown, but he does get brought down after a 10-yard pickup. Shoe came off. Yeah, what is Scott doing? How is this even a consideration? Like, what is the, like, like at this point with how obviously gassed Weaver is, might as well put Mike Ford in the damn game. God damn. He, does he want to lose? This is an opportunity to steal a game you have no business winning. And he's just going to punt on it. Really? I'm just speechless. This is so bad. Okay. Uh, anyway. I do think Scott's been bad this year. But he's been really good the last two years. Snap. Throws it. Oh, should have been intercepted, but is caught. Bounces off the hands of the defensive back and is caught for a 10-yard gain and a first down by Boston. Well, that was that should have been picked. Terrible throw, but miraculous, immaculate deflection right there to the receiver. Yeah, he did not see the defensive back lurking. That's like a 12-yard gain, actually. So, red zone. Snap, Penix drops back, looks, 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 takes off up the middle, got plenty of room, going to get slide down after like a six or seven yard pickup. Oh my God. What is he doing? Scott. Second and four. Tight ends in motion. Receivers in motion. Snap. Ooh, wide open in the flat. First down. Down inside the seven. Yeah. Fire Scott. This is inexcusable. This is him literally deciding he wants to lose. I don't care what anybody says. Scott, get off my team. Get out of here right now. Oh my God, I hate you so much. Wow. Well, the hand run and uh, speak more bad news. Run up the middle. Loses three yards because our interior offensive line is terrible. Yeah, Scott, get out. I'm sick of you. This is inexcusable. What a... What an idiot. Like, what is he doing? You've gotten two more innings out of Weaver than you should have. Why do you keep pushing it? Second and goal from the nine. Snap, going to roll out to his left, throws it. McMillan breaks a tackle, gets in the end zone, touchdown. So Washington puts up a touchdown. It's about to be 21 to 3. Hmm. Oh, we're going for two. Swinging gate. Easy. Wide open. That's a two-point conversion. Seems kind of mean, but this is college football. You have to be mean. So that's a two-point conversion. 22 to 3.
and Scott. Like, I've been cool on Scott lately. Whatever, he's made some mistakes. I haven't been killing him for it. But I'm sorry. That's just ridiculous. That's just you being a complete idiot. That's just you turning your brain off and just thinking one more out, one more out, one more out, one more out for like eight outs. <laughs> what are you doing? Wow. Wow, dude. Was Scott literally just like, did Scott have a stroke and he's just standing there in the dugout, like watching blankly? Did he Mitch McConnell it and nobody knows what's going on? My God, man. You got like seven more outs out of him than could have reasonably been expected. What are you doing? And I cannot believe that two-point conversion plays legal. You throw it to the snapper. The snapper is the receiver. I didn't think that was legal. All right, 22 to 3. Kickoff is up. And it's going to be fair caught. Tulsa takes over. They got plenty of time. Oh, Utah ended up beating Baylor, barely. Now, fire Scott right after this game. I swear to Christ. Get him out of here. Get Scott 300,000 miles away from this team. Eject him into the sun. Unbelievable. You are a joke of a manager. You are the world's biggest piece of crap. I would rather have fucking Scott McClendon back or whatever the fuck his name was. Steve McClendon. I don't... They have their backup quarterback in. Tulsa. And off, going up the middle, two yards. Yeah, Lloyd McClendon, whatever the fuck his name is. I don't care. I'd rather have anybody than Scott. I'm so fucking pissed at him for this. This is a joke. Next time, just forfeit the game if you really don't want to win that badly. Going to be a quick pass over to the left side. First down. What happened to the Tulsa starter? Did he get benched because of the pick? Snap. Throws it deep. 
Ooh, almost caught. Great play by the defensive back to break it up at the last second. He went for a shot play. And it almost worked. They better grill Scott in the post-game press conference. They better, they better grill him. Snap. Drops back. Throws it to the left side. Caught. Six yards. Third down coming up. Going to be like third and four, third and three. Something in the middle of there. Also, is Twitter down? Or X or whatever? I haven't seen any tweets in like five fucking minutes. Oh, okay, David. I, I, interesting. Snap. Throws it. Incomplete. Tried to throw a little slant pass to pick up a quick first down and was broken up. Very nice play by the defensive back. Fourth down and four. They may go for this. Okay. Nobody tweeted on my timeline for five minutes. That's crazy. They are punting. Wow, okay. And the punt is away. And it's a pretty bad punt, it looks like. Yeah, <laughs> terrible punt. Should have just gone for it. Ugh. Yeah. Flag down. What's the flag? Did we run into the punter? We didn't have anyone near him. That'd be really bad if someone ran to the punter because nobody was near him when he kicked it. Holding on... Okay, holding. Okay, I think we keep the ball, but we do get pushed back a little bit field position-wise, I guess. Can't help you. Okay, Penix, can you get another score going? Drops back, looks, looks, looks. Screen pass to the back. He's going to have to make a guy miss, and he does. Gets like six yards and squirts out of bounds. Does the back... All right, minute 27 left. Plenty of time. Snap. Penix. Throws it over the middle. Oh, O'Dunsey. O'Dunsey wide open for an easy catch, and he just kind of slaps it down. Is O'Dunsey's hands broken or something? What is he doing? What the heck was that, O'Dunsey? Third and four. Is he hurt or something? He didn't even try to catch it. He just slapped it down. Penix drops back, throws it over the middle. Caught. McMillan, first down. And like five, six yards more. All right. <clears throat> Still plenty of time, and we have two timeouts. Snap. Drops back all day. Throws it deep down the right side. Dropped. Not a perfect throw, admittedly, but Polk could have caught that. Receivers not really helping Penix out that much today. I'll say that. Eh, that one's on Penix more than Polk, though. He barely got his fingers on it.
Snap. Pennings drops back, looks, throws it over the middle. Bullet caught. Odunzi brings that one in. Right around midfield. 53 seconds. Uh, okay, we should be able to at least get into field goal range with the way things are going on this drive. 50 seconds, 49, 48, they line up. Five wide, Penix in the gun, snap. And we have a stoppage at 45 seconds. What's going on? Did someone call timeout? I think Tulsa called a timeout. Okay, they must have not been prepared on defense. Yeah, I know what you mean, David, but they did enough to win this game with competent managering. They did enough to win this game with a competent manager. So I I don't I don't even know. Forty five seconds. Just past midfield. We're gonna snap it. Penix drops back, looks, looks, throws it deep down the left side, wide open. Oh! McMillan had a walk-in touchdown and it went off his hands. Oh! These receivers are awful today. That was a walk-in Jalen McMillan touchdown and he just didn't bring it in. Oh! Second and ten. Oh, God. Okay. What is going on today, guys? I know Tulsa's a cupcake, but don't you want to show up and pad your stats? Gotta take it seriously, man. Snap. Penix drops back. Throws it wide open along the right side. That one is caught right along the out-of-bounds marker. That is, I think, Nixon, who was lined up wide. Oh, no. They're going to say he... Wow, what is up with the team today? This team is not locked in right now. I think he stepped out of bounds for no reason before catching the ball. Yeah, the, this team is just playing like a bunch of... This team is just playing like a bunch of... of space cadets right now, man. Yeah, space cadets. Third and ten... Snap, Penix drops back, has all day, throws it, left side caught, easily, first down, Polk. They're inside the 35, basically right near field goal range, but we should be thinking about a touchdown right now, and we're not. Snap, Penix drops back, looks, throws it over the middle, caught by McMillan, fumble! Recovered by Tulsa! Oh my God, these receivers want to lose. These receivers and Scott Sir. Oh no, he's going to return it. The 40, the 50. Oh my God. Oh, he gets tackled out of bounds with four seconds. What is going on, people? Wow, these receivers need to get smacked in the mouth in the locker room. My God. He catches it cleanly, no problem, and then he just fumbles it. The dude didn't even punch at it. He just fumbled it. What are you doing, dude? And then nobody can tackle the defender. Like, my God, this team is sleepwalking. This is kind of sad. These receivers should lose draft stock after this one. This is embarrassing. Well, they're going to throw a um, Hail Mary here, I guess. They can't kick a field goal. Shout out to Penix, by the way, for coming up with that tackle. Probably saved a touchdown.
I don't make Millen and O'Dunsey both need to be benched for the rest of this game, but we need one of them. <laughs> Well, today is not going very well. I gotta be honest, I'm not thrilled with either of these games right now. We should be beating Tulsa by four touchdowns, but we're not. And the Mariners are on the verge of throwing away a game they had a chance to win. Oh, they're just gonna run the ball. He finds a hole, he's got a first down, and they're gonna bring him down well short of the end zone at least, so no harm, no foul, but that was kind of an underwhelming first half, guys. Gonna be honest, but uh, that takes us to the end of the half. Mariners up, I'm sorry, Huskies up 22-3, to but I'm not happy with the way the team is playing at all. Um, <laughs> we uh, freaking blew so many points because of drops. O'Dunsey with two drops, McMillan with a drop of an easy touchdown, and then the fumble. Uh, I think O'Dunsey may have hung Penix out to dry on the interception by slipping and falling down. Like, this is not good, man. This is not what we needed. I'm not happy. This does not look like a team that's going to compete with the best teams in the conference. And the frustrating thing is we started out so good. We came out with those two quick touchdown drives. The defense, the run defense is not good, but overall the defense is playing fine. But this offense, like talk about sleepwalking through a game. Talk about just showing up and thinking the other team is going to fall over. Oh, shit. Oh, all right. Okay. Are we... Are we going to get bailed out? Are the Rays going to bail us out? Is Scott Service going to get bailed out of his own stupidity? I can't believe it. Oh, man. All right, let's see what happens. Come on, France, come through. Come on, friends, do something. Oh, my God. Chased. Okay, so we're still going to lose. Yeah, that's the good news, I guess. Cal's been good lately. Maybe he can save save us. Okay, well, I'll be right back, guys. I need to use the facilities. We are in halftime, by the way, just in case that wasn't clear.
All right, I'm back. Who's due up for us in the ninth? Board more than Cal. Wow. No, Rojas got pinch hit for already. Well, admittedly, that's three guys who have some pop, but it's not exactly ideal. I guess it's, you know, it is five guys that can hit it out of the park, but... Not thrilled about it overall. Come on, put him away, put him away, put him away. Bang! Dude, that was a pretty easy strike. What are you complaining about? All right. I mean, honestly, going into the ninth inning with the score tied is kind of miraculous, given the fact that this was a bullpen start, but my God, we should be putting this game away right now. The opportunity was there. Uh, Jesse, it's on the Pac-12 network. And it's at halftime right now, by the way, so nothing's going on, Jesse. It's still halftime. NX looks great. The receivers are sucking, though. Yeah, I mean, they're probably just, like, sleepwalking through this game because it's Tulsa, but I'm not okay with that, you know? I'm not, I'm not down with that. Cabby pinch hitting. Interesting decision. I don't know how to feel about this. Ford's a guy who can just jack one of the seats, but he is but it is a lefty, right? Polk's the only receiver on this team who's playing well so far. Polk's been good. I guess the plan is try to get Cabby to draw a walk and then let him steal second. I guess that's the idea. Oh, 
Um, no. Uh, wait a minute. Where's the okay? Yeah, I don't hate the pinch hit decision. I totally get it, but... Ah, Jason. Ah, too bad somebody wasn't on. Would have advanced the runner. Although I guess he didn't try very hard because he knows nobody's on. Ah, that was a good pitch to hit. We are still at halftime, looks like. Ah. Man, that was an out-of-control swing. <laughs> he was just trying to hit it 500 feet. All right, Cal, what you got? Yeah, I don't want him to hit a single. Because if it gets to the 10th, then I want it to be... Kind of want it to just be Crawford, Julio, and I think Teoscar. I think something like that. Although, honestly, Crawford's been so bad lately, maybe I'd rather just get him out of the way here. And let it be Julio, Teoscar, Suarez... I don't know. I don't know how to feel. Oh, that would have been a good one to hit. Oh. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, Green Earth, why? What's going on? I mean, what's he doing that's so wrong? It's not even the end of this first half. I don't care about that, really. 
It's not like he's turned the ball over a bunch or nothing, I guess. I'm going to have to look at it later. This is annoying. I'm annoyed already by today. Yeah, I don't see how we win this game now. We're going to need a happy accident. My God. Especially with this bullpen. I know, like, I can't believe how bad they're playing right now, man. It's ridiculous. I think we're almost out of halftime. Why does college football halftime take forever, by the way? Jesus Christ. Come on, let's just play some football. So mad at Scott still. I cannot believe that Scott made the decisions that he did. My God. All right, kickoff. Tulsa gets the ball. Touchback. Yeah, let me know what happens in the Mariners game, guys. I'm focused in on the Huskies game now. Handoff up the middle, going to gain like two. Little bit of a hole. Handoff up the middle again. That's going to be no gain. May have lost a yard. 
Oh, boy. Okay, third and long. Come on, defense. Man, Braylon Twice has been a little invisible lately, ain't he? Who's pitching, by the way? I forgot to think about that. Who's our pitcher at this moment? Snap. Drops back to pass. Looks, looks, looks. Throws it. Wide open. First down. Secondary fell asleep a little there. No pass rush, though. Oh, yeah. Saucedo. Okay. And a Husky defensive player is down. Doesn't look good either. He looks like he's been knocked out. Really? Fire Scott. Fire Scott right fucking now. I don't care about anything else. Fire him right now. Fire him. This very second. Holy shit. What a piece of garbage. You don't know how to manage a fucking team. You are a loser. Scott's service is a f loser. You are the world's biggest fucking loser, Scott. I'm so disgusted right now. Scott needs to go away. What a fucking embarrassment. Like, there's a difference between making a mistake that, that making a decision that doesn't fucking work out and then making a decision that no other person in the universe would have potentially made my god handoff up the middle picks up maybe two now what the hell happened to scott he used to always get this stuff right Second and eight. Snap, shotgun, throws it over to the left, caught. Going to be a couple yards short of the first down, third and short coming up. No, Toby Pierce. We got several clean innings or reasonably decent innings out of Weaver and we didn't pull him. That's not Weaver's fault. That is Scott's fault for leaving him in like seven outs more than you should have reasonably expected to get out of him. It's Scott's fault leaving him out there. Third and two 
and they don't get it. They actually lose yards. Hell yeah, fourth and three. They may go for it. Yeah, get. Yeah, I don't want to see Scott. I, I'm sick. Of, okay, I'm done with Scott, dude. Uh, they're punting. Fourth and three, they are punting. And the punt is away. Going to be fair caught at about the 18 or 17. Yeah, Scott completely screwed this one up. I can't believe this, man. Like, sometimes he does things that any it's just wrong and it's whatever. But that game, like, he was trying to lose that game. He was trying to lose that game. I don't care what anybody says. He was trying to lose that game. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. Yeah, I'm disgusted, guys. All right, well. Weaver did fine today, though, Toby. It's not his fault Scott left him in for seven outs too long. Like, how was today? Like, Weaver's not a great pitcher. But he totally did his job today. Leone, yeah, Leone sucks, but Weaver's fine right now as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, Washington's going to take over on offense here. The 18-yard line snap. Play action. Going to be a quick flip to the tight end in the flat, and he's going to run for a first down and a bunch more open field. Knocked out of bounds. Probably picked up like 25 there. Couldn't quite get him out of bounds. And, ooh, I wonder if they're going to challenge and see if he went out of bounds earlier. No, it doesn't look... Well, maybe. No? Well, we have the ball at midfield for now. Yep. Play action. Penix drops back. Throws it left side. Caught by Polk, who's guided out of bounds. But not before picking up a first down plus a few extra. Yeah, I'm not even really thinking about Tampa.
Ooh, trick play, trick play. Penix takes the double reverse and then chucks it deep out of... Okay, nobody there. Tried another trick play. Didn't work. But I love the fact that we try trick plays pretty much every game. A couple of them. That was like a Philly special, except the quarterback stays back and throws it, kind of. Snap. Penix drops back, looks. Throws it quick over the middle. O'Dunsey catches it. Going to be like a little five-yard gain. Going to bring up third and manageable. Snap, Penix drops back, blitz picked up, throws it over the middle, caught by Westover, first down. And he's going to get brought down, picks up like 10 or 12. Antoine Quab, why don't you go find another stream if that's how you feel? Jesus. Snap, Penix drops back. Slant over the middle, going to be a first down inside the seven-yard line. That was Polk, by the way, on the catch. Ooh, play action out in the flat. Polk. No, that's not Polk. That's, uh, I think that's Bernard. Runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Likes a little flip out to the flats. Yeah, I'm going to stream some Seahawks games this year. Seahawks fan one. 28-3, pending an extra point. Washington. Nice drive. The extra point's good. Thank you, Toby. I appreciate that.
Yeah. Although you do have to say the Rojas and Canzone acquisition was pretty solid. At least we did pull that off, I guess. That offsets a little bit of it. You know, I can't even really blame the front office for A.J. Pollock. They had every reason to believe A.J. Pollock would be a decent player, and he, he just randomly decided to be awful this year. And same with Wong, too. How could they have known Wong was going to turn into the worst player in Major League Baseball? Kickoff coming. Kick is away. Going to be a touchback. Yeah, King Zo, we're gonna need to sweep you guys in a couple in a, in a week or so here. Just so you know, sorry, we need it. Uh, handoff, counterplay, going left, gets the outside, picks up like four, five before getting pushed out. Snap, roll out, looking, 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 looking. Ooh, sack. Lucky that ball wasn't ripped out. Gets chased down. Big sack. There we go. <clears throat> nice blitz off the edge from Muhammad. And Fuller didn't know what was coming. Third and nine. Snap. Quarterback. Throws it right side, batted away at the last second down the sideline. Great play by the defensive back. There we go. All right, fourth and nine. For a second, it looked like that was trouble, but he managed to right himself just in time to smack it away. Richard Sherman style. So this is completely random and apropos of nothing. Tell you one breed of YouTube video that I found really interesting lately. Watching frogs eat. Watching frogs eat is actually really interesting. Oh, we blocked the punt? Did we block the punt? I think we did. It is still fair caught at like the 44. Flag down. Are they going to say it's not a block? Are we in trouble here? Oh no, roughing the kicker. I think that's going to be their ball. I think Tulsa gets the ball back now. Oh, nobody blocked it. Oh, if somebody had blocked it, it would have been okay. God damn it. All right. Yeah, I've been watching like the Pac-Man frogs eat. That's fun. Watching Pac-Man frogs eat is pretty damn fun. And they eat these things that are extremely deadly and extremely poisonous, but they're immune. Snap, handoff, up the middle, picks up like a yard. But the frog is just built to take it. Like their skin is too leathery, so they can't really get bitten. And they're immune to most poisons. So the centipede, like it'll eat a centipede. And the centipede will just be like biting him and biting him and biting him from the inside and the outside. 
and it doesn't do anything. It just it's just annoying for the frog. It's actually really interesting. Anyway, second and nine. No, Toby, I don't think so. Like, you watch these videos. These frogs are eating centipedes, they're eating spiders, they're eating gigantic hornets, and nothing phases them. It's pretty cool. There's this one video where this bull, uh, Pac-Man frog eats a giant hornet, like holds it in his stomach, and then the hornet comes out, and he has to eat it again, and he pulls it into his stomach, and then a second later, it comes out again, and then he has to eat it a third time, and finally then he gets it. It's crazy. And no, you're not going to make me feel bad for a giant hornet. That's not happening. I need to refill my water, guys. Okay, well, it looks like I missed a big pass interference penalty on the defense, so Tulsa has the ball in Washington territory. Quick throw, right side, first down. So Tulsa's offense, a little bit of life here. Snap, handoff up the middle, a little bit of a hole, picks up like two. Nice shoestring tackle. Yeah, Miami should be good this year, honestly. <clears throat> Miami has a lot of players that I think are really interesting this season, personally.
Hand off up the middle, three yards maybe. Twenty-eight yard line, third and five, big play here. Snap. Throws it incomplete over to the right side. Wouldn't have been a first down even if he caught it. I don't know why they were running that route, but fourth and five, what are they gonna do? Yep, they are going for it. Blitz, bubble screen, no good. Tackled for a loss. They ran the bubble screen, and it was sniffed out. Let's go. Washington takes over. So they basically get the ball where they almost would have gotten it if they hadn't been called for roughing on the punt. Play action. Pennings drops back, has all day, throws it, right side caught, wide open. McMillan was sitting on the ground when he caught it, though, so he'll be down right there. First down. Snap, blitz, picked up, quick throw out to McMillan, picks up like four or five yards over on the right sideline. Second and five, three receivers at the top. Quick bubble screen out to McMillan. He's got a lot of space in front of him. He's got a first down more, 40, 35, out of bounds at the 33. First down. Okay, here we go. What do we got? Three wide, tight end, back. Snap. Play action. Quick pass out to the left side, caught by O'Dunsey. He's going to break a tackle, break it. Mate. Ooh, no, he was knocked out of bounds after like 12 yards. But he does get the first down. Hand off up the gut, no gain. Maybe half a yard.
second and ten. Ooh, should be offsides. Looks like offsides. Yep. Can we free five yards? Going to be an end-around trick play, and O'Dunsey's going to walk into the end zone without any issue whatsoever. Nice little end-around action there. It was like a fake bubble screen, end-around the other way, and O'Dunsey punches it in to make it 35-3. to And still got an extra point going. I think this one's pretty well in the book. Huskies went for two earlier, yeah. It was like a trick play. Your point is good. Get a frog. Kickoff is away. Fielded at the three, going to be returned. The 10, the 15. Oh, he got destroyed. How do you hold on to the ball? Wow. Okay. That was a big one. All right, let's get this one over with. 36 to 3. I don't know. That looks okay. The defense got it done. Nothing bad about this defense. Got nothing bad to say. Ooh, little eight yard run up the gut. Decent. Okay. What's going on, college football, by the way? What's going on, college football? Miami might put the game away here. Tennessee still struggling. North Carolina. Oklahoma's not playing that well. Duke's all right. Oh, yeah, Alabama-Texas just kicked off. That's a big one. Wow, Penn State put it on Delaware. Yikes. Okay. Kansas State. Carolina. Okay, everything's pretty much going as expected. End of the third quarter here, by the way. We've got one quarter left here against the Tulsa Golden Hurricanes. 36-3, Tulsa does have the ball at their own 25-yard line. So, I'm going to step away for a couple minutes here during this quarter break. I will see you guys when the game gets back.
and uh, we're going to try to close this out the right way. Right, we're back. Second and two. They're going to run the ball going right first down and a decent amount more before getting taken out of bounds. And that's a horse collar tackle, so that's 15 more. Malone threw a pick. Who's Malone? Man. Huskies are really beautiful dogs. I wish they were not so high maintenance or I would probably have one. They are cool dogs, too. Oh, Bama QB. Okay. Milrow. Is he supposed to be good? It doesn't seem like it. Snap. Drop back. Screen pass over to the right side. And makes a man miss. Picks up like four. Nice pursuit by the D-line. They're giving him more than four, I think. They're giving him like five or six. Regardless, pretty good pursuit, although they can't tackle. Drops back to pass, throws it deep down the left side, single coverage, and that's not even going to get anywhere near anyone. Good coverage, third and four.
Okay. 14 minutes left, third and four, snap, drops back, looks, has time, throws it down the left side. He's got a man open. Can't find it, though, incomplete. He had a man deep down the field. That was actually a pretty good opportunity. Flag down. I think this is going to be on the defense, so pass interference. Really? Okay. Must have been before the ball was getting there. I don't know. Van Dyke, all right. App drops back, checks it down to his back, who's going to rumble through empty space for about nine yards. So Tulsa's finally moving the ball a bit here. Probably a little late, but they may get something here in garbage time. And off up the middle, going to pick up like two yards in the first down. Yep, Miami looks like they are going to win. Tennessee doing some stuff. North Carolina takes the lead. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. Snap, drops back, looks, has all day, checks it down into the flat, and going to pick up like a yard. Nice tackle by Ola Foshio. I think that was Ola Foshio. Okay, second down. Hand off up the middle, nice room there, nice little bit of room, but he's going to be a couple yards short, two, three yards short of a first down. Third down and short coming up. Third and three. And we got a timeout, Washington. Okay. Really big country. That does seem crazy now. Yeah, it does happen from time to time. I've heard about it before. By the way, we did hit 14,100 subs. The uh, tracker isn't counting it properly. So, good uh, good news.
Well, commercial break taking forever, feels like. Okay, I think we're getting something going here. They're showing the Oregon touchdown. Oh, what do you guys think of Bo Nix as an NFL quarterback? That was a pretty nice throw there. That was like a that was like the real th deal. Third and three, and we got a flag down. I think it's a false start. Okay, bump it back. Third and eight. Five wide and the play clock almost ran out. Snap. Pressure. He's going to scramble out to his right. Look, look, look. Flip it to a receiver, but the receiver caught it after catching, after gaining like two yards. Ran out of bounds. So, not really worth it. Fourth down. Are they going for it? Snap, they are going for it. Looks, 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 throws it into the end zone. He caught it. Is he in bounds? Yeah. Okay, nice throw. Touchdown, Tulsa. McGarry. Yeah, I think so. All right, Tulsa gets in the end zone. Extra point. They're having a hard time getting lined up. Ooh, almost blocked. Knocked it through, though. I haven't watched that much of Colorado yet, but it seems like Shitter Sanders gets sacked a lot. Like, he... Am I wrong, or is he getting sacked, like, a ton? so far like what's up with that because supposedly his pocket presence is really good so i don't get that Hopkins or Rashad White? I have no idea. Probably Rashad White. I don't know, though.
Okay, kickoff is away. Can Washington play add on here? How many yards does Penix have? Well, he's going to have a lot of yards to go. Not a very good kick return by Bernard there. Let me check this out here real quick. How many yards does Penix have? 355. So if he throws for another 50, I think he breaks top 10. Let's go. He can do it. I believe in you. First and 10 from the 15. Play action, kind of. Ooh, nice little throw over to the left side to uh, Nixon, I think. Lined up as a receiver. Nice catch. And he bounces forward for like a gain of 17 or 18. All right. Penix, add on. We can't run the ball. We know that. So may as well keep chucking the damn ball. Chuck it. Oh, we are going to run it. He's got some room. He's got a first down. And he gets taken down after a gain of 12. Okay. We can run the ball a little bit, guys. Nixon, baby. I didn't watch very much of the game. The only thing I'm seeing with Shadur in the negative, it seems like he takes a lot of sacks. Penix goes deep down the right sideline, caught inside the 20. That's a big shot. Bernard, I think he's there now. I think he's broken 400 passing yards. I think he's broken 400. Nine fifteen left, nineteen yard line empty. Snap, Penix throws it to the end zone left side one on one incomplete. To Nixon, yo, he's looking for a flag. There is none. Oh, Or according to the broadcast, he's got 409. Snap, handoff up the middle. Going to be a little bit of room. He picks up like a two-yard gain, I guess. And it's third down, so he's going to probably have to throw again. Oh, so you're saying he has 408 from a previous game? So he's past the 408. Okay. Third and eight. And we got a timeout. I don't know who, but we do have a stoppage.
Be right back, guys. <laughs> Back. Oh, definitely Penix right now, Russell. But Shader's making a move. The issue with Penix, more than anything, I think, is the injuries. Ducks scored another touchdown, I think. I just realized my chat's been dead on the YouTube side. Okay, there we go. Weird. Anyway, <clears throat> third and eight. Snap. Penix throws to the end zone over the head of Odunzi. So do we ki finally kick a field goal here? We're going to kick our first field goal of the year. Okay, what do we got? Why? What is a kicker doing wearing 95? That looks weird. And it's off the upright. No good. That was a very ugly kick. Well, our kicker's name is Gross. Sure. Uh, the hold was bad. The laces were in. That was a bad hold, I think. The laces were in. Oh, seriously, David? God damn. The heck is going on? I guess App State does this. Yo.
In my phone, North Carolina State just scored a touchdown. And they're up by two, pending the extra point. So, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think Wazoo went three and out. Okay, Tulsa, quick pass out to the right side. Going to be close to a first down after he pushes for extra yards. I think it's like second and one. Okay. Snap, drops back, has time. Now the pocket collapses, he scrambles out to his left, gets it out, incomplete, basically threw it into the dirt. And another Husky defender is down. This Husky's defense has actually been having a lot of injuries today. This is not good. He's grabbing his leg. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good, guys. Bad, bad, bad. Third and one. They're going to run the ball up the middle, and he's not going to get it. No gain, baby. Thank you, Chad Hart. I appreciate that. Uh, do they go for it? You would think so. Doesn't look like it. No, they're punting. Okay. I guess if they don't get it, we get it deep in their territory, but what do they have to lose? Nope, they're going to kick it. Yeah, okay. Washington's going to get the ball here. Chance to go get some more points. Is Penix going to come back in the game? McMillan, the 20. Ooh, is that a horse collar? Yeah. <laughs> awesome, David. Maybe today's loss won't be so bad. Okay, first and ten. Gonna be uh ooh no, that's Dylan Morris, and he's gonna hand the ball off on like a read option, and we're gonna pick up. I think that's Bernard with like six or seven yards.
Second and two. Is Dylan Morris going to get to throw a pass? It's a handoff up the middle, one yard pickup, so it's going to be third and one. Third and one. Snap. Going to be a handoff up the middle. First down. Cross midfield, baby. Let's get more points while we're here. It's college football. You got to put up points. Snap. Morris drops back. Throws it deep. Up the seam. He's got a man inside the 15. Oh, Dunsey wrestled down, but he picks up a big one. And Washington is pushing to score a little bit more with Dylan Morris in the game. Morris gets it out over to the left side. Caught. I think that's a first down. So going to be first and goal from like the three. Oh, we got our daily membership renewals. These are not new members. These are renewals. Mr. Kane renews. Devin Marsal becomes another renewal. Lasse D, the new old. Lasse D. Okay, by the way, it's first and go from the two. Austin Roberts. Hand off up the gut. No gain. May have lost a yard. R. Sanchez, another new old. And off up the middle, down to the one. And I think that was a face mask, so it's going to be uh, half distance and first goal, first down. But it's only like half a yard, so. First and goal from the half yard line. Run up the gut for I think that's a touchdown. He got in. Yeah, big country. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet, but I'm sure I will be streaming on Twitch tonight. Points good.
43 to 10. Kick off. Looks like a fair catch. Hand off up the gut. Squirts forward for like eight. Not bad. Not bad. That's a good point, David. I didn't even think about that. Snap, handoff up the middle, first down, plus a couple more. Mm. All right, two minutes left or so. I think Tulsa's just trying to get this one over with. Hand off, going left, finds a little bit of room, picks up like seven. Yeah, they just want this game to be done. Oh, let's get it. Yep. Running play, going stretch play, kind of. First down, over to the right. Past the 50. Come on, Tulsa, take a shot. Come on, Tulsa. Try to get a touchdown here. I believe in you. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, Cam Ward doesn't have great foot speed. But he can use his legs productively. I'm, I remember thinking that in the Apple Cup last year. Okay, is Tulsa going to get off one more play? They just ran the ball for no gain. Oh, excuse me. Absolutely disgusting. And they're going to run the ball to the outside again. He's going to get out of bounds after picking up the first down with five seconds left. So what is Tulsa going to do with these ever-precious five seconds? Looks like they're going to try to run a play. But are they going to try to accomplish anything with the play? They do have a timeout left too. I I I'm I understand this is all academic, but now they're gonna run the ball up the middle and pick up like six yards. Okay, game over.
One second, guys. Okay, I'm back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Game over. Okay. All right, uh, hold on one second, guys. All right, guys. Um, decent game. Pretty much what I expected along the lines of what I expected from this Huskies team. 43-10, uh, to 10, and honestly, their last touchdown and our last touchdown were both complete garbage time, so really it was more like 36-3, to 3, meaningfully. So... This game, there are a couple really good developments from this one, I think. And there were a couple of big disappointments as well. And that's how you end up with a result like this where you're favored by 33 and a half points going into the game and then you win by 33. It kind of ends up exactly where the odds makers said it was going to. So let's uh, talk about some of the good things today. Uh, Penix, I thought Penix played really, really well. I don't know if the interception was his fault or not. That could have been a situation where the receiver just didn't get to the ball. That's what it kind of looked like to me, but maybe he just threw the wrong route. I don't know exactly who that's on, but given the fact that he was not getting helped by his receivers at all today and still threw for 400 yards, I was pretty impressed. I thought Penix played solid football. He ran for a couple of uh, productive carries as well. Used his legs a little bit. Uh, the Tulsa defense obviously is nothing to brag about. The Tulsa defense has problems. They're not great. But I thought Penix did pretty much everything he could. Like half of his incompletions were drops. So for my money, Michael Penix had a great game. I'm impressed with this defense for the most part. I think the defense played pretty good today. Um... It, the run defense had issues. The run defense isn't ideal. And admittedly, that's concerning as we go into some of these games against these teams that are going to be able to run the ball better than Tulsa. But they never really let it hurt them. <clears throat> they only allowed 10 points, and 7 of those points were in garbage time. So I can't even really get worried about that element of it because over and over again, we came up with the stops when we needed to. I thought our secondary played really well. There were a couple of lapses in coverage. There were a couple of bad plays, but we got the interception. We had some pass breakups. We had good play all around from the secondary, I felt like. So those are the things that stand out. I, I like the play calling. I like the fact that we used a lot of creativity in this game, especially because there were certain things on the offense that weren't working. So one thing I will say is this offense did a really good job of trying to find creative solutions to allow themselves to run the ball, like running those end arounds. We were very productive on end arounds today. We ran a couple of other trick plays, so awesome stuff there. So definitely some good stuff in those areas. Uh, the, the stuff from this game that's not so good, obviously I think the big thing has to be the receivers. This is a team that is supposed to be, their strength is supposed to be their receivers. Their receivers are supposed to be the reason why they're so great, them and Penix. And today, both top of our both of our top receivers were awful. And the numbers are going to tell you they were good, but do not drink the Kool-Aid on those numbers. Odunzi had two drops, two big drops, where it didn't even look like he was trying to catch the ball, like he just slapped the ball away. So there was that. You also had the play where I think he may have left Penix out to dry on the interception. I don't know about that one, 
but it certainly could be argued. And McMillan, who started the game out really good, and, and that's one thing that kind of threw me a little bit. This offense actually came out blazing blazing hot with those two early touchdowns, and then things kind of fell off a little bit because receivers were dropping the ball. McMillan dropped an easy touchdown, and then like two plays later, um, sorry about that, by the way, I got a dog up there freaking out, um, and then two plays later, he fumbles on a play where it's not like the ball even gets punched out. He just kind of gets poked out, and then he loses control, and we lose our opportunity to score points right before the end of the half. And McMillan did make good plays in this game, don't get me wrong. So did O'Dunsey. I'm not here to say they were all bad, but the only receiver that played consistently in this game really was Polk, Jalen Polk, our number three guy. So I was disappointed in that element of it. This had the opportunity to be like a... 56 point game again like last week and the receivers really looked very lackadaisical and I'm sorry to say kind of sleepwalking out there so didn't love what I saw from those guys and those guys are supposed to be some of the best players on the team so I understand that it's a uh, focus thing it's it's a it's a mindset thing like the way they drop those passes that's just a matter of execution that's not a matter of you being physically unable to go catch a pass. That's not a matter of you not being talented enough to go get that ball. It's just a matter of focus. So hopefully we play a better teams in the future and they don't let that happen. I understand today's Tulsa, you can mess around like that and you can still win. But at the same time, I look at a game like this as an opportunity for these guys to put up monster numbers and I don't know why they wouldn't want to do that. So the receivers were, I think, the big let down from this game for me. The other thing would probably be the the running game. The inside running game, the traditional running plays, very, very spotty against this Tulsa defense that you really should have been able to impose your will on. So after this game, my conclusion kind of is we just can't really run the ball normally on anyone. So I don't know if that can get fixed or not. Obviously, you're going to start playing better teams next week. Michigan State's not that good, but they're better than Tulsa. They're better than Boise State, I think, anyway. So I don't know what's going to happen to this running game. We just cannot run the ball reliably up the middle. It gets stuffed. The interior offensive line gets pushed back or they blow their assignment. Just one one thing or another, it, it it's kind of like watching the Seahawks. But this is worse. We're playing Tulsa. We should be able to impose our will on them. We can't at all. We have to come up with these end-around trick plays in order to run the ball successfully. So that part of it, not exactly something that I was proud of from this game. Again, you're playing Tulsa. And our run defense, I mean, it ended up kind of working out okay, like I said. But they uh, were able to have a decent amount of success running the ball on you. And we had a lot of injuries on the defense today, which has me concerned this could be a long-term issue with this team. So, I don't know. I don't know what to really expect going forward. But at halftime, I was coming away thinking to myself, the team is going to have to play better than this if they want to beat the better teams down the line. So, decent game. Not a great game or anything like that. We played fine. Uh, we definitely left some points out there. My God, we left some points out there because of all these drops and some of the mistakes on the offensive side of the ball. And <clears throat> that that definitely disappointed me because, again, the numbers tomorrow are going to tell you these receivers were great, but don't drink the Kool-Aid. I'm serious, guys. Put the Kool-Aid down. These guys left a lot of stuff out there, and that element of it is worrisome because these guys are supposed to be the strength of the team. But, hey, you got the big win, and I will say I think our secondary is improved. At the very least, I can say that. Our secondary is better than it was last year when it was a mess. So that part of it's nice. I would rather have a good pass defense than a good run defense, too. So, yeah, I, I don't really know what else to say about all that. I, I don't really know what else to say about this one. It's obviously an easy win, pretty much a scheduled win. Uh, I am happy with the uh, progression this defense made from last week. They looked better than last week. But... For it to mean something, we need to see it against a real NCAA team. We're going to start seeing that next week. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. All around pretty decent day. Uh, I'm not going to go over the top with anything. This team right now is pretty much living up to expectations. But if they want to exceed expectations, 
you got to work on this stuff. These little things that right now are not going well. This interior offensive line, not good. This interior defensive line, I would argue, not good. There was very little pass rush today, if we're being honest. And I understand that we had some injuries on that side of the ball, but maybe that's going to be the way things go this year. All right, see you guys later. Bow down to Washington, 2-0, and and uh, feeling pretty good about where things are going. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Uh, I will be on Twitch later tonight. I don't know what I'll be playing, but I will be playing something. And, uh, yeah, everybody uh, enjoy the rest of your college football action today.